This is my fifth year at the Writing Retreat. I came the first year it was started and have been coming every year since. And I have to say it is my favorite week of the summer. Good to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> People often ask how we came up with this idea of the Writing Retreat. And one of the hardest things for me has always been finding time to write articles. It's never top priority. And one of the things we do is write. You can't be a scientist unless you spend a lot of time writing. And I have many friends who are writers, and they have places they can go, like the McDowell Colony, and spend a week or a month just writing. And when I looked around, I realized there were no writing retreats for any kind of scientists. And I think particularly as women, it's really important to get away so you don't have to worry about what you're going to cook for dinner or buy for dinner or get the soap for the laundry or something. You can just worry about what your work is and you can stay up late, get up late, go to bed early, get up early. You have just complete freedom over your own time for this whole week. The best thing about the week for me is being removed from distractions at the office, which you know, can be other people stopping by, the phone ringing, um, but it can also be me seeking out distractions that keep me from writing. When you come here to the retreat, you leave all your other responsibilities at home. And this includes the responsibilities at your job as well as your family. So you come with really just wide open time. On the first day, I didn't really know what to do because at breakfast all of a sudden everyone disappeared and then they were gone. So I wandered around. This is where was my first spot. This is where I like to work in the morning now. This is my second year and last year it took a lot longer to sort of get up to speed and I think this year I had prepped ahead of time to come and be ready to kind of hit the ground running and so yeah I think I'm going to submit a paper this morning. I'm only 10 minutes from my house and yet I could be you know on the other side of the globe because everything else has fallen away and it's really just about these people and our mutual and diverse tasks. It's really quite amazing. We've been coming here to the Connor Family Retreat four of our five years, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful space. There's a lot of space for people to spread out. You can have your own space. You can be in a room with other people who are quiet and working, and you can vary. So there are times when I've worked in my room when I didn't want anybody to find me, and then other times when I've worked in kind of a quiet, secluded place. And then when I'm stuck, I just get up and go for a walk, and it clears my head, and I come back and I'm ready to work some more. It's fantastic. There are different types of environment, so that actually help me to continue the flow of writing. There, as compared to when I was working in the school, you know, I stay in the office all the time, I get tired, um, it's really hard to focus. Every year we have a writing coach who comes and Anne usually gives a short presentation that we go to and then she meets individually with people. Anne Green is a wonderful writing coach and I really owe her quite a bit. I had no idea really how to write as far as what made me more productive. So she just asked a few questions and then I realized what it was I've been doing wrong <laughs> for years. I think she's incredibly effective, extremely quick. And, um, and she sort of effortlessly took us through two hours of discussion of just how to approach writing in a way I've never experienced before. And I've read a bunch of writing self-help books, I have to tell you. <laughs> there was such wonderful colleagueship. In the discussion session, it was a big room full of 20-something people. Did something work? Did something not work? And people challenging each other back and forth and laughing. And um, it was really exhilarating. It was also nice to really spend some time thinking about the stumbling blocks that are generally self-imposed with writing. And there's certainly the time issue and, and with the heavy teaching load and, and administrative responsibilities, but to have the time to reflect on what you do to sabotage yourself is really nice. I think being here has really allowed me to see it as the process that I wish I had understood early on. 
and I think it really will help me to be more I mean, the good thing about being retired is I don't have to be efficient now, but other things being equal, why not be efficient? I also just printed out an end-time draft for the first time. Oh, good for I'll you. have a look at it and see. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to read this thing. <laughs> it's a very interesting group of people. Geoscience covers a very wide range. So we have geologists, we have environmental scientists, we have oceanographers. There's such a range of people here, everyone from graduate students to, I guess I probably am on the, the wagging the other end of the, <laughs> the, the tail, but there's just a huge amount to learn from everybody wherever they are in their career. And I, I find that very inspiring and, and energizing. It's really nice to actually find uh, women geoscientists that are role models, that you realize that your experiences as a female geoscientist aren't unique, um, and that people have done it before and they can get through it, and that really these are some of the best women that I've met in, in the fields thus far. It's a small enough group that you really do get to meet people and find out what they're doing and then maybe if there's something that you're working on that might not be totally related to something else that somebody else is working on, you can find kind of a middle ground and develop new projects or, or new ideas. Just sort of tucked behind in Right. I have so a colleague here that I work with, and we didn't plan to do anything together, but we've been talking a lot about things that we're both interested in, and it's been great because she's just across the table. And I can always pick up the phone and call her. That's how I've usually done it when I want to bounce an idea off someone, but she's right there. And um, we're both thinking about the Bering Sea um, this whole week. so. It's been really fantastic to be able to um, have another person there who's just sort of like in the same mindset on this like really engaging project that I'm really immersed in right now because in my institution I'm one of two oceanographers and I'm the only person who studies climate change and so it can be a little bit isolating. I'm just starting my career and I'm about to start applying for jobs. It's been really great for me to, to ask people for advice and um, to see how different people structure their work life back at home and how people fit in writing back at home. It's nice that everybody's in the same field generally, so just watching everybody work on these related subjects together and it gets you excited about your work. There's something very powerful to have 25 women <laughs> working you know, on their own themes but towards the same, a similar goal. I was recently at a conference earlier this summer where it was clear that there's still rampant sexism in geology and it's really refreshing to be able to talk about it with other people and compare notes. It's not a big deal, it's just like a bigger support network than you're used to having in your small little bubble. I'm always amazed at the ease with which we end up talking to one another about our struggles, our challenges, our triumphs. I didn't know what I would get out of this workshop, but I'm really amazed at the, the breadth of uh, insights that I'm going to take away. Last night I wanted to go to bed, but I walked down the hall and I saw four people working and I thought, oh, I should work some more. And it was good. I got a lot done in the like, half hour I made myself work before I was allowed to go to sleep. Oh, I would definitely love to come back um, next year and the year after and however long it takes. <laughs>